Okay, obviously it's late. We'll try to be uh, quick. We'll open up with an opening comment from Coach Hamilton and then right to questions. Coach Hamilton. I thought that both teams played very hard. I thought we both kind of got after each other with a lot of effort. Uh, we had a, a little run there, but we had uh, about five or six stops in a row and we was able to get some separation. I mean, very fortunate to hang on for the victory. Questions? Any, any questions? Oh, oh, can you wait for a mic, please? Raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Leonard, a, a game like this where you're, it's kind of back and forth and you're up and then they lose and then they get close. I mean, what do you tell your team about keeping composure and not letting this moment get to them? Well, obviously, when we hit our free throws, we don't, we don't have an issue. We, we didn't shoot free throws very well down the stretch. And if you don't knock those free throws down, you can put yourself in a position that this stuff can happen. It makes everything look bad. Right behind you. Coach, it seemed like obviously you've got a team full of guys who've really never been on this stage before. You know, every time they mounted some sort of run to make it closer, it was either Isaac or Bacon, one of those guys really seemed to have an answer. You know, what does that tell you about those players that they're comfortable doing that, you know, in the NCAA tournament? We had a lot of anxious moments. I thought in the beginning of the game, everybody kind of uh, uh, had that nervous uh, exhaustion, so to speak. I mean, everybody winning the game after about two or three possessions up and down the court, they all was like they were stepping in mud, but that's part of being on this stage. And hopefully we'll be a, a little more relaxed as we move uh, on to the next game. Front row. Uh, Jonathan, could you just talk about the athleticism that your team seems to have? I mean, this is Dunk City, but you guys like nine to two in that department tonight. It just seemed like you guys had a little too much athleticism for them. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, they're Dunk City, but I think our team led the nation in Dunk, so, you know, that kind of speaks for itself. That's what we do, we're, we're long, we're athletic, and uh, you know, we dunk the ball too. Standing up in the back. Coach, congratulations. Um, I'm wondering, obviously, it's very, very soon after your victory. But uh, I'm wondering if you have any thoughts on the Xavier matchup. Do you have any familiarity with the team? I think you have to give me at least a little time to go back and uh, Fair enough. Uh, evaluate that. Thank you very much. Go ahead right next to um, Jonathan, this is for you. I mean. Do you always warm up with dunks? I mean, you seem to have a lot of dunks warming up tonight. Was there a message there? You mean you mean in the warm up? Yeah. Oh no, nah, that's just. I mean, that's just how we all warm up. Um, try to get our legs ready to go. Back row on the aisle, and then we need one up front. Leonard, um, Dwayne made some big shots for you there late in the first half to kind of right the ship. How big was that for you guys to get those those baskets from Dwayne? Well, it's obvious that uh, he's, always, he's been our go-to guy all year. Um, uh, they mix their defenses up back man-to-man -man zone. Uh, we, we, our players were aggressively trying to get him the ball in areas where we thought that he could give us some point, some offensive productivity. Uh, he, was, he was very anxious. I thought he was very efficient in the first half. Uh, he's, he, was, he was under control. Uh, he made good decisions with the ball, and we're going to need more of that for him as we move uh, through the remainder of the uh, tournament. Front row again. Leonard, as far as Dwayne's con keeping with Dwayne, and he came in tonight averaging 19 points in his last four games tonight. He gets 25. I mean, what would you say you've seen out of him lately where he's looked a little bit more aggressive and consistent, kind of taking those shots and, and, and carrying the team at times? I think we're a little bit more efficient as a team. We're not quite there yet, even this late in the season. We have not been as efficient through the whole year as, I, as I'd like to. We have a lot of young guys that I thought we were getting the, when they went in the game in the first half. I thought we had a tremendous amount of energy, but I didn't think we executed very well. Uh, I, but I think the, our veterans, the guys who've been playing most together, they, they recognize now how to get the ball into Jonathan. And, uh, we're making better decisions uh, in terms of finding, our, finding uh, the sweet spots where we can score. We'll go to our far right. Coach, talk about the growth of Jonathan from day one until this very moment right now. Well, well, Jonathan came into our program for a tremendous uh, uh, high basketball IQ. Uh, and he values all the intangible things that uh, sometimes it takes years to develop. He makes good decisions with the ball. He doesn't force anything. He loves playing defense. He's a good rebounder. And he doesn't force any shots. I mean, so those things uh, uh, he brought to the table. I'd like to take credit for teaching him some of that, but some of that he's happened to have. He has an instinctive uh, 
feel for the game, but I think it's very good. And we, we've allowed him to be who he is and allowed him to grow within the abilities he has. And I still think his best basketball is ahead of him. Standing up in the back. Jonathan, you were talking earlier in the season about how you wanted this team to be the culture change of FSU. You got the first victory uh, in the NCAA tournament in 2012. Do you feel like this is the first step in that Florida State culture change? I mean, we, I think we took that first step a long time ago. Um, you know, when we first got together, you know, that's what we talked about. We talked about changing the culture and changing what Florida State was about. And I think this is just, uh, you know, the back end of what we've done, you know, getting to a tournament and being able to win a game. Coach and Jonathan, thank you very much. Quick reminder on press conference times tomorrow, the first one will be at 135. That will be Virginia. Virginia at 135, Florida at 220, Xavier at 310, Florida State at 355. You're entering or exiting? I don't know, but I just saw a ton of them exiting the line. Okay. Okay.
Okay, a reminder, when we go to questions, please raise your hand so we know. We'll ask Coach Dooley to make an opening statement, and then you can raise your hand for questions. Coach? Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate, obviously, Florida State on a win. I mean, they've had, they've had a terrific year. I told Coach Ham, you know, he's been fun, with the exception of tonight, watching his team, and he's done a great job, and the sky's the limit for them. They've got depth, athleticism. They can make a, a deep run this tournament. Second part is obviously we're disappointed, you know, that we lost. Um, I don't think it diminishes the year we had. I mean, we're proud of our guys. We had a heck of a year. Disappointing, but um, hopefully something that we can build on here going forward. Questions? Center aisle, please. Oh, here's, a, here's a microphone for you. Congratulations on a great season. Joe, can you talk about, you know, only 11 turnovers, which is fine against a Florida State team, but many of them of the catastrophic variety where it led to breakouts the other way? Yeah, we, we, we turned it over. I mean, our turnovers weren't awful, but we, we, we took some unnecessary shots, and I thought that some of the shots that we took were as bad as turnovers, and they, they create things, and that happens. And it's also, to our guys' defense, it's hard to simulate what they do. You can't simulate height and length and athleticism like they have. And, uh, you know, and having been, all, you know, we, we, we just sort of never really got into an offensive rhythm. That being said, uh, you know, we, we did take care of the ball, and I thought we, we battled for the most part. Stay on the center aisle. Yeah, Joe, obviously you don't play much zone at all, but you played it tonight quite a bit, and you played it quite well, I think. Uh, how important was that for you guys tonight? Well, we, we were really concerned in the first half, especially 30 of their 40 points were in the paint, a lot of it off the driving, but they were 0 for 5 from 3 in the first half. and. I mean, we, we played some good defense on some of the other plays. And, you know, Bacon jumped up and made a shot. And Isaac jumped up and made a, you know, a couple of shots when they were well guarded. And, I mean, there's a reason, you know, I, you know, Isaac's projected as the top 10 pick. I mean, he's skilled. He's athletic. Um, and sometimes it was just better offense than defense. But we, the zone, I thought, bought, bought us some time. And we were able to rust our guys a little bit, but also, uh, also change the tempo of the game a little bit. Are there any questions for Brandon or Zach? Can we get that those first, and then we'll come. I know you have one over here. We'll get back to you, Brandon. Brandon, you talked about the experience of being able to play an ACC team. You don't get to play um, teams a lot that are in different conferences. What was it like um, being able to have that competition tonight? Uh, like Coach said, Florida State is a great team. They're young, um, very talented. You know. Got the Isaac here that's projected and then Dwayne Bacon that can score, Xavier that you know, they all around pretty good. So um it was a it was a challenge for us, but I thought we fought pretty hard and um you know, we just made some plays that, you know, weren't smart and you know, you, you can't do that versus that type of team. And, you know, they're they're gonna capitalize on it and that's what they did down the stretch. They made plays for each other and um they executed, so front row. Uh, first off, Zach, Brandon, congrats on a good season. Brandon, what was that like um, being out there for you in your first NCAA tournament game? Uh, it was it was fun. Um, like I said, I thought we played really well for the most part, and you know I couldn't be more proud of my teammates for you know stepping up at that stage, um, you know, and just battling all game. I I, I thought we never gave up. Uh, we always pulled each other together, and you know we talked to one another, and so. You know, it just makes it that much sweeter next year, you know, going in with pretty much almost the same guys and stuff. So, except for our two seniors. But overall, it was a pretty fun game, and we had fun for the most part, except for the end, of course. What's your question for Brandon or Zach? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Brandon, kind of touching on what you just talked about. Obviously, you lose uh, Meach and Norelia. Uh, but this run, I think, was probably very good for you guys to build on, even building off last year and then building on it again this year. Heading into next season, where you know you had some pretty doggone good pieces next year. Yeah, definitely. Mike, Michael Gilmore, uh, Ricky Doyle, you know, both are great guys uh, that can replace Meech and um, Meech and um, Mark. Mark. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little out of it. But um, yeah, and today just shows that we can fight. You know, we we fought hard, and that's a they came in second in their league and. You know, we play with them. We play hard the whole game. So that's just, I think that's a little bit of momentum. Definitely going into next year, just, you know, having the prize right there and not being able to fully grab it. So that, that definitely makes it, makes us a lot more hungry going into next year. Does anyone have a question for Zach? Zach, can you just speak to you, your feelings right now in terms of the entire season? It was successful, but you're in a place right now where it looks like you're a, uh, Pretty bummed out, even though you still have two years left. 
Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, looking back at the season, we obviously uh, did some great things, some things we haven't done before. But like you said, uh, uh, kind of took a tough loss. We uh, played real hard. Um, I'm proud of my teammates. I'm proud of Brandon. And I'm proud of the people that's also registered and that to also uh, make us better. They come to practice every day and they work hard. And so it, I'm excited for what we have to come. We have one more for Brandon or Zach, and then we'll get back to Coach. Go ahead. Zach, it seemed like in the second half, every time they were poised to pull away, whether it was you, whether it was Brandon, one of you guys hit a big shot to kind of stem the tide and never let the game get out of hand. Um, can you talk about that? I think uh, center aisle. Yeah, Joe, what's your overall thoughts on this season and, and the strides you guys made? And then also, uh, you know, like I asked Brandon, like I spoke about with Brandon, you've got some really nice pieces. You lose a couple of good pieces, obviously, but you you gain three or four really nice pieces next year. We'd like to think that we're going to, you know, first of all, we have, I think we had a, a really good year. I mean, it's dis a, dis a great year with a disappointing end. And, uh, th you know, you look back, we hadn't lost a game in double figures since late, uh, what, late early December. Uh, we've, we've been in every game we fought. You know, we've had games where we looked like we were dead in the water. We, we, we came back or we never, you know, we had games where we should have been beaten badly and we, we fought back and we're in every game. And um, I, I think it's something to build on. I mean, I, I do like the pieces we have coming back. I mean, I think they'll be older. We'll get, we'll get stronger. I think we're going to add a couple pieces. And, um, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, we're trying to sustain this thing. I, I think we're the, going forward. We're going to continue to build on this deal. Final question on the front row. Um, Joe, once again, congrats on a good season. Thanks. We noticed that Ray Sean um, didn't dress. Was he injured? And what's the status of um, Meech? Meech, uh, we're having the doctor evaluate that. And, and, you know, obviously he couldn't come back, which was unfortunate. And Ray Sean tweaked his back uh, earlier in the week, and he, he, he couldn't go. I mean, so we've been, but uh, hopefully Meech is okay. Obviously, we'd like to get him prepared for some uh, professional opportunities. But we, we will have an x-ray. They had an x-ray here, and they'll get another one. We'll, we'll have our doctor look at it, and just hopefully he's good. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck to you.